I think if you look at emergency rooms, that's kind of like the crucible of American healthcare, right? That's where that's where you see a lot of the things that are wrong, but also a lot of things that are right. If you look at emergency rooms, they're where people who can't get healthcare anywhere else go. But that's also where some of the most advanced life-saving technologies come into play, right? I think that's really reflective of the American healthcare system. One that is very technologically advanced, but one that also has significant issues meeting the needs of the entire American population. So most of my research focuses on the care that vulnerable populations, right, people who can't normally afford health insurance or really high quality hospital care, the kind of care that they get when they go to the only option that's available to them, right? We call those hospitals safety net hospitals. And one of the things that we found is that when you go to those hospitals and you are receiving care at them, you're far more likely to be less satisfied and in turn receive lower quality care than if you are not going to one of those hospitals. I think one of the challenges is that it's so difficult to explain why that is, right? It's a very multifactorial issue. There are so many different things. It could be because they're less voiced in that care, right? They're not able to participate as fully as if they had complete control or health literacy or if they had the tools that they needed to participate better in their care. I think one of the major reasons, even though we don't really have the research to confirm this yet, is because many of these hospitals don't have the resources that they need to respond effectively to the communities that they serve. I first got involved in research on healthcare issues, especially inner city healthcare issues, through an independent study I set up through the Benjamin Franklin Scholars Program. And I spent a semester looking at emergency rooms and emergency room care and how that care impacted the health of populations in the inner city. After that, I won a research grant from Curve, and I was able to spend time over the summer really honing my skills in healthcare research. And then following that, I stayed at that research center. And over the next several years, I was really given the ability to take on different kinds of projects. I think one of the things that I've learned the most in this experience is that research is a team effort. So I work really closely with my advisor in this research center where I work. And that's how this newest study came out, the one about safety net hospitals, in large part because I was working with her closely and we stumbled on these findings as we were looking at the data. So during my time in BFS, I've taken courses in religious history, in American history, in gender studies, and in gerontology. And I think each of those courses in their own way has really shaped my Penn experience, not only because I think they've exposed me to fields that I wouldn't have been able to study otherwise, but also because I think they've led me to some of the most interesting opportunities I've had at Penn. So Kerf is a really good place to go, especially if you're interested in doing research, right? if you're interested in getting involved in research as an undergraduate. It's also where the Benjamin Franklin Scholars and the University Scholars programs are housed. I first got introduced to Kerf as a Benjamin Franklin Scholar, and that was a really, really important, important aspect of my time at Penn. Not only because the advising that comes with BFS is so amazing, but also because of the really broad exposure to a lot of different fields I got through BFS was something that I wouldn't have been able to get in what I was studying otherwise. Curf is also, I think, a really useful place if you're looking to figure out what comes next, right? If you're interested in going to grad school, if you're interested in testing the boundaries of what you're able to do, I think it's a very useful place to go and to talk about the different opportunities you have available to you.